My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, there are times when Jesus goes out of his way to meet the crowds. And in, in most occasions, we are told Jesus is filled with compassion because he saw them as sheep without a shepherd. But today's gospel is different. Jesus gives orders to cross the lake apparently to avoid the crowds pressing in on him. The crowds represent two kinds of people. Those in real need of teaching and healing, and those who are simply driven by a kind of curiosity for the unusual. Jesus is not interested in the second kind. They represent a false interest in Jesus. For them is just a sensation, a wonder waker, Jesus Christ, the superstar. Similarly, when a scribe approaches Jesus and says, Teacher, wherever you go, I will come after you. It seems like a generous offer, but Jesus reminds the man of just what that may entail. Foxes have places, birds in the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has no way to lay his head. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, to follow Jesus means to like him, to be ready to have nothing of one's own, to be ready to become part of the family of Jesus, not to have other strings attached to us, but rather a total commitment. As Jesus said earlier in the Sermon on the Mount, we cannot at the same time serve two masters. To be with Jesus is to accept a situation where we may have nothing in the way of material possessions. Our security will be elsewhere. We do not know whether the scribe took up the challenge or not. It does not really matter. Jesus' words are recorded mainly for us to hear them. What do you think when you hear them? Have you made a choice between Jesus and other things? Do you think you can have Jesus and commit your life to other things? Does it really matter for you? Or maybe you follow Jesus and to some extent you follow other things? Does it mean anything to you? Does it challenge you? We cannot say I will follow you if or I or when I'm ready. When he calls, we have to be like disciples. Like those first disciples who were fishers of men. They dropped their nests. They followed Jesus. They left everything for him. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, this is one thing that we should pray for today. Total commitment to the Lord. To leave everything in the hands of our Lord Jesus Christ. A total self-commitment, a self-dedication, a life of oneness with Jesus. We pray today as we begin our reflection, as we begin our morning, that God may turn our hearts so that our hearts may be united to him. We may be totally committed to him and we may give our lives wholly to him through Christ our Lord. Amen.